11. How to choose your wealth goals and receive them right away. The Bible gives us the answer. Choose you this day whom ye will serve. Joshua, chapter 24, verse 15. The key to your health, wealth, prosperity and success in life lies in your wonderful capacity to make decisions. The greatest discovery you can make is to awaken to the great truth that there is an infinite wisdom and power already established within you, enabling you to solve all your problems and to become wealthy, happy, joyous and free. You were born to win, and you are equipped with all the powers of God within you to make you master of your fate and captain of your destiny. If you are not aware of your capacity to choose from the kingdom of heaven within you, which is the presence of God lodged in your deeper mind, you will begin to choose and make decisions based on events, circumstances and conditions around you. What is worse, you will tend to overlook the powers within you and will exalt the powers of circumstance which may exist at a certain time. Choose from the kingdom of God within you and move forward on the high road to happiness, health, freedom and the joy of living the abundant life. The Power of Choice your power to choose is your most distinctive quality and your highest prerogative. Your capacity to choose and to initiate what is chosen reveals your power to create as a son of God. How His Power to Choose Transformed His Life An alcoholic, by which I mean a compulsive drinker, visited me a few months ago, I explained to him that he had the God-given capacity to choose sobriety, peace of mind, happiness and prosperity, right here and right now. He was sincere in his desire to become free from what he called his curse. The following prayer was given to him. I choose health, peace of mind, freedom and sobriety right now. This is my decision. I know that the Almighty Power backs up my choice. I am relaxed and God's river of peace flows through me. My spiritual food and drink are God's ideas and eternal verities, which unfold within me bringing me harmony, health, peace and joy. In my imagination I am back with my family, doing what I love to do and am divinely happy. Whenever the urge to drink comes, I flash this mental movie in my mind and the God power backs me up. He repeated this prayer four or five times a day, while being aware that he was writing these thoughts in his subconscious mind, which accepts repeated thought patterns affirmed convincingly and decisively. The shakes and the jitters still came occasionally, but he flashed on the screen of his mind the mental movie and vision of himself at home with his wife and family and working at his former profession. His desire to give up the bad habit was greater than his desire to continue it, and the power of his subconscious backed him up. The Riches of the Right Choice for Everyone Every morning when you awake, choose the following eternal truths, remembering that your lifetime experiences, conditions, and circumstances are the sum total of your choice. Affirm boldly as follows, Today is God's day. I choose harmony, peace, perfect health, divine law and order, divine love, beauty, abundance, security, and inspiration from on high. I know as I claim these truths in my life, that I awaken and activate the powers of my subconscious, which compel me to express all these powers and qualities. I know it is as easy for God to become all these things in my life as it is to become a blade of grass. I give thanks that this is so. This should be the choice of every person, every day. These are principles of life, and as you affirm them, you make all these powers of God active and potent in your life. Your subconscious accepts what you consciously believe, and it is easy for you to believe in the principles of harmony, peace, beauty, love, joy, and abundance. Emerson said, Nothing can bring you peace but the triumph of principles. There is a principle of beauty, but none of ugliness. There is a principle of harmony, but none of discord. There is a principle of love, none of hatred. There is a principle of joy, none of sadness. 
there is a principle of opulence and abundance, none of deprivation and poverty. And there is a principle of right action, none of wrong action. Begin to choose what is true of God, and His goodness and the riches of life will be yours. Decide to choose the riches of the divinity within you. People who are afraid to make choices are actually refusing to recognize their own divinity, for God indwells all men. It is your divine right to make choices based on eternal verities and the great principles of life which never change. Choose to be healthy, happy, prosperous and successful because you have dominion over your world of finance, business, health, profession and relationships with others. Your subconscious mind is subject to the decrees and convictions of your conscious mind and whatever you decree convincingly shall come to pass. The Bible says, Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 What happens on failing to choose? A woman said to me, I don't know what to choose or what is reasonable or logical. I explained to her that she had made a choice. She had chosen not to choose, which meant that she had chosen to take what comes from the mass mind or the law of averages in which we are all immersed. Also, if she had chosen not to choose, the random or irrational mind of the multitude would choose for her inasmuch as she refused to choose for herself. She began to perceive that it was very foolish for her not to choose thoughts, images, and ideals for herself, that she was here to do her own thinking, reasoning, and choosing. Otherwise, the mind of the masses would do her choosing for her and manipulate her mind along undesirable lines. She reversed her attitude, however, and asserted constructively, I am a choosing, volitional being. I have the power, the ability, and the wisdom to control and to direct my own mental and spiritual processes. I say to myself every morning when I awaken, God indwells me. What am I going to choose today from the treasure house of infinity within me? I choose peace, divine guidance, right action in my life, and decree that goodness, truth, and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm chapter 23 verse 6 Following this manner of choice, this woman has transformed her life. She has better health, increased efficiency, more understanding, and has prospered along all lines. The infinite power backs up your choices. You are a self-conscious individual, and as you know, you have the capacity to choose. After deliberation, you select one suit of clothes in preference to another. In like manner, you choose your minister, doctor, dentist, home, wife, husband, food, and car. In other words, you are constantly being called upon to choose in this three-dimensional plane. What kind of thoughts and images are you choosing? I want to reiterate and emphasize again that your whole life represents the sum total of your choices. Choose wisely, judiciously, and constructively. Choose the truths of God which never change. They are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Some say, I will let God choose for me. When you say that, you mean a God outside yourself. A God, or the living spirit, is omnipresent and is also within you the very life of you. The only way God or infinite intelligence will work for you is through you. In order for the universal to act on the individual plane, it must become the individual. You are here to choose. You have volition and initiative. This is why you are an individual. Accept your divinity and your responsibility and choose for yourself, make decisions for yourself. The other person or your relative does not know best. When you refuse to choose for yourself, you are actually rejecting your divinity and your divine prerogatives, and you are thinking from the standpoint of a slave, a serf, and an underling. Her courage to choose transformed and enriched her life. A widow came to me perplexed, baffled and frustrated, because she had a choice to make between two men 
and could not make up her mind which one to marry. I told her an old story about the donkey placed at a central point between two stacks of hay, and he starved to death because he could not make a choice as to which one was his food for the day. I suggested that she had the capacity and ability to choose infinite intelligence within her to lead and guide her, and that its nature was responsiveness. I advised her that the answer would come to her clearly and that it would be impossible for her to miss it. Accordingly, on going to sleep that night, she spoke as follows to her higher self, Father, you are all wise. Reveal to me the answer, and show me the way I should go. I give thanks for the right answer, for I know you know only the answer. She had a dream that night, in which both of these men said goodbye to her. Then a third man, her employer, appeared in the dream, and asked her to marry him. She knew the answer when she awoke, and the very next day her boss asked her to marry him, which offer she accepted. She followed the biblical injunction, Choose you this day whom ye will serve. Joshua chapter 24 verse 15 Turn to the infinite intelligence within you, and call upon it, and you will receive the joy of the answered prayer. You can choose confidence, riches, and a full life. Many say that they have always experienced sickness, failure, frustration, and loneliness. All these failures can be dissolved by choosing to believe in the one infinite healing presence. Feeling and emotion follow thought. You can therefore choose to build a new emotional life. Recognize that the will of God for you is the tendency of the life principle itself, which seeks to flow through you as harmony, health, peace, joy, creative ideas, and prosperity, extending beyond your fondest dreams. You have chosen to believe that what is true of God is true of you. Therefore, from this moment forward, the preponderance of your thought and expectancy will come from Him who giveth to all life, breath, and all things. In other words, your mind and heart will be always open for the influx of God's riches now and forevermore. Meditation for Building Your Account at Your Prosperity Bank I know that my good is this very moment. I believe in my heart that I can prophesy for myself harmony, health, peace, and joy. I enthrone the concept of peace, success, and prosperity in my mind now. I know and believe these thoughts, seeds, will grow and manifest themselves in my experience. I am the gardener. As I sow, so shall I reap. I sow godlike thoughts, seeds. These wonderful seeds are peace, success, harmony, and goodwill. It is a wonderful harvest. From this moment forward, I am depositing in the universal bank, my subconscious mind, seeds or thoughts of peace, confidence, poise and balance. I am drawing out the fruit of the wonderful seeds I am depositing. I believe and accept the fact that my desire is a seed deposited in the subconscious. I make it real by feeling the reality of it. I accept the reality of my desire in the same manner I accept the fact that the seed deposited in the ground will grow. I know it grows in the darkness. Also, my desire or ideal grows in the darkness of my subconscious mind. In a little while, like the seed, it comes above the ground, becomes objectified as a condition, circumstance, or event. Infinite intelligence governs and guides me in all ways. I meditate on whatsoever things are true, honest, just, lovely, and of good report. I think on these things, and God's power is with my thoughts of good. I am at peace. Chapter Points to Remember 1. The key to your health, wealth, prosperity, and success lies in your capacity to choose. Choose whatsoever things are true, lovely, noble, and godlike. Choose thoughts, ideas, and images which heal, bless, inspire, dignify, and elevate your whole being. 2. Your power to choose is your highest prerogative, enabling you to select from the infinite treasure house within you all the blessings of life. 3. When an alcoholic chooses to select harmony, 
peace, sobriety, and right action in his life, knowing the Almighty Power will back up his choice, he is on the way to release from his habit and to freedom and perfect health. He uses the wonderful power of disciplined imagination in realizing that he is doing what he loves to do, dramatizing the mental movie over and over again until it has all the tones of reality. The minute the idea of freedom is fixed in his subconscious mind, he is compelled to freedom and sobriety. 4. A wonderful choice for everyone every morning of your life is to affirm, Divine right action is mine. Divine law and order govern my life. Divine peace is mine. Divine love fills my soul. Divine harmony reigns supreme. Divine beauty fills my soul. I am inspired and divinely led in all ways. There is a happy outcome to all my undertakings. Make a habit of this, and wonders will happen in your life. 5. Never hesitate to make a choice. You are a volitional, choosing being, and to refuse to choose is actually to reject your own divinity. You can choose according to universal truths and principles of God, which never change. 6. In failing to choose for yourself, you are actually saying that you are going to let the mass mind, full of irrational fears, superstitions and ignorance of all kinds, make choices for you. If you do not choose to do your own thinking, the mass mind and the propaganda of the world will make choices for you. There is no such thing as indecision. It simply means you have decided not to decide. Don't let Tom, Dick and Harry make up your mind. Choose God and His truth. 7. Choose that goodness, truth and beauty will follow you all the days of your life because you dwell in the house of God forever. 8. Your whole life consists of a series of choices. All of your experiences are the sum total of your choices. You are always choosing your books, clothes, schools, partners, homes, automobiles and so on. Watch the kinds of thoughts, images and ideas you choose. You are what you think all day long. Choose what is lovely and of good report. 9. God, or infinite intelligence, will do nothing for you except through your thought, images, and choices. The universal cannot act on the individual, except it becomes the individual. 10. Choose God and realize that only God knows the answer. If perplexed and wondering how to choose between two suitors, realize God or infinite intelligence knows the answer. Contemplate the answer and the supreme intelligence will respond accordingly. It never fails. 11. Regardless of past errors, sickness and failures, believe now the absolute truth that the will of God for you is a greater measure of life, love, truth and beauty, transcending your fondest dreams. Open your mind and heart and live in the joyous expectancy of the life more abundant now and forevermore. 12. Use the meditation at the end of the chapter to build up your account in the prosperity bank.